Over the last couple of years, I've spent thousands of pounds on online training on how to create a brand and information products. In this video, I wanna share with you a lesson out of the brand and information products mastery program that is completely free in the description below, and it's gonna share with you how to create a brand, how to create information products, and take advantage of what we call social media today. It's a fantastic opportunity this day and age to create a brand around something that you're passionate about, something that you love to do. And I wanna share that with you. This is Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and in this video, we're gonna be talking about your brand name and your logo. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about some of the things that you may want to think about, some of the things you may want to consider, and some of the things that you may want to avoid as well when it comes to ultimately coming up with a brand name, coming up with your logo, etc., etc. So, as you can see on screen, there is some of the most iconic logos of all time. Adidas, Nike, you've got Twitter, you've got Apple, you've got Disney, you've got Coca-Cola. You know, the, the list goes on. You've got uh, Starbucks, you've got Lego, and that's just some. And these are really iconic because people see these logos, they see these brands, and they have emotion attached to those brands. You know, when I say something to you like, when I say Apple to you, when I say Nike to you, when I say Adidas to you, you've already got some sort of emotion attached, some sort of relationship with that brand. And when you create your own logo, when you create your own brand name, that is ultimately what you're doing. You are wanting to create some sort of emotional feeling towards whatever brand you, whatever brand that you create. But there's also a big, big thing that you've got to think about is, do you create a brand after yourself? So would you call it your name, your first name, last name, that's your brand? Or would you call it something completely different? For me, the Life, life Success Engineer is completely different. It's not my name, it's not Kev Blackburn. But there's pros and cons to each. Now for me, long term, long term, Adidas, Nike, Twitter, Apple, Coca-Cola, Disney, all these big, big brands, they are brands that can ultimately be sold on. If you've got a brand called your first name, last name, Kev Blackburn, then you are your brand. You can never sell your brand because you are your brand. Yes, there may be some ways of getting around it. Yes, there may be some things that you can do. But ultimately, if you've got a brand that you could have, it doesn't matter who's behind it, really, that is, for me, my recommendation, that is what I tend to sway towards, hence why I said life success engineer, because um, at the end of the day, one day I could have multiple people underneath this brand, one day I could have multiple, um, mul I could sell on the brand, I could, do, I could do many, many things. So, some of these things, like think about this, McDonald's, okay, it's just, it's just an M, and McDonald's, you will see that, you'll, you'll recognize that anywhere in the world. The majority of the entire world's population will recognize that. Apple, you know, Apple have got this Apple sign and they've built such an incredible raving fan culture that it doesn't matter what they release. iPhone X, it could be iPhone Z. It doesn't really matter. People will queue up out the door. Microsoft, you know, Microsoft, they've been around for many, many years now and they, they, this, they've created such a, a, an emotional attachment to people that, are, um, that use Microsoft, they use their products, whether it's Windows, whether it's Office, you know, Microsoft Word, Excel, um, whether you've got Xbox, whatever the case is, you get my point. People have massive associations, they build a relationship with the logo, with the name, and what that brand stands for, okay? If you look at the, the Life Success Engineer logo, it just says Life Success Engineer. Very plain, very basic, very just Life Success Engineer. And I purposely did it that way. I just wanted it to just be simple. I just wanted it just to simply go 
life success engineer. I didn't want to think about it too much. I didn't want to come up with my own L, S or whatever, whatever, like McDonald's or Apple. I didn't want to come up with some sort of simple symbol, just life success engineer. If you look at my prep service, you know, the prep service is just got, it's just the FBA and then it's just like got a little tag, prep service UK. That's it. it there's, there's really not too much heavily focused energy spent on it. It's a case of just coming up with something, a brand name that really may, hopefully shares a bit of a story about what you do. That's the thing, I guess, with Apple. You know, when you think of Apple, um, and they're, they're so well known now, and so you know exactly what they do, but Apple doesn't really relate to the brand. McDonald's, it doesn't really relate to food either. Microsoft, maybe not either. So it is, it's one of those things where you, you've got to think about nowadays, you, you're not gonna, when you start your own brand, you're not going to have a, you're not going to have the power of Disney. You're not going to have the power of, you know, people see Disney, they know it's it's all to do with Disney, uh, Walt Disney, they all, they know Disneyland uh, characters, most famous cartoon characters in the world, the, our favorite character, family characters ever probably, you know, so people know what Disney is. People know what Kellogg's is. People know what Lego is. But when you create your own brand, whatever your brand is, whether it's um, your... I'm not even telling you... I don't even know. I don't even want to guess. Like, whatever your brand is, people may not know what it is. So when I when you look at my brand, Life Success Engineer, they at least they know it's something to do with life success. They're thinking, engineer, what is this? Is it something to do with like engineering background? Is it to do with um, some sort of trade? Who knows? But it, they know it, life success. FBA Prep Service UK, it's actually just FBA, it's Prep Service in the UK. So I just wanted to create this just to give you some thought processes on what maybe brand that you want to just give you some just back and forth, come up with some consideration of your own. Um, something that preferably people will know straight away, you know, life success, something to do with success. If it's FBA, something to do with FBA. If your if your niche is in dating, maybe you want to call yourself the the dating, whatever. I'm not entirely sure. Something that really just points people, gives that head start. What I do then is I go to Fiverr. Okay, Fiverr. If just to get yourself started, you can just create yourself a logo from Fiverr. I highly recommend that you do. I mean, if if you look at um, the Life Success Accelerator logo, if you look at the Online Arbitrage Mastery logo, it is exactly what it says on the tin. Life Success Accelerator, Online Arbitrage Mastery. From Fiverr, I didn't mess about too much. It's about taking action. It's about moving forward. If one day in the future, I want to redesign these, if one day in the future... I want to come up with something that is, I don't know, maybe something more of, you know, 99 designs or something, then absolutely I will do. Um, but for now, it's just a case about taking action. So think about something, go on to Fiverr, you can get it done as, as cheap as, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to um, spend sort of over £100 or $100. You'll, you'll find something just as cheap as, as five, five pound, £5, five dollars you know, don't, don't pay any more, um, you could just create yourself, you, you know, you, you maybe not even want to have a logo at the beginning, because um, the truth is, you know, nobody cares at the beginning, nobody actually cares about the your brand, nobody really cares, like nobody cares when, when you know, Coca-Cola first started, the first periods of the, of their existence, Nobody cared. Nobody cared about Starbucks. Nobody cared until they made people care. They really resonated with people and they started to provide big service. So it's completely up to you what you do at this point. I just wanted to share this um, this video about logos, some thought processes, um, come up with something as simple and easy as possible and it could make a difference. So uh, this has been Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com. Make sure you're in the, the Facebook group and make sure you keep sharing your your insights keep sharing about what you wanted to do and um, let us know what your brand is so 
Take care and talk to you again soon.